In this video, we'll show you how we build a little diorama and put all the finishing touches on my first building for the Ripon Co-op. So the last time we left our heroes, we built this basic structure, but it was still lacking a bit of the detail. So here, you can see we added an LED light to it, and it's just running off of a 9-volt battery. Here's how I hooked it up. Um, I threw a 1,000 ohm resistor in there just to make sure I didn't blow out the battery, or blow out the LED. Excuse me. Ha! Ah. So then the roofing material is nothing but more than black construction paper, and oh boy, dropped it there. So what we want to do is just kind of measure it to make sure that the first piece I cut is going to line up. And we'll go ahead and cut a bunch of strips here off so we can do the roof all in one shot. So if I just take my X-Acto knife and cut away, as you can see there, looks like, well, fumbling around here, looks like we'll have a few pieces cut up for us to glue on our roof. All right, so now that we've got the pieces all cut up, I'm gonna go ahead and take just wood glue, or in this case, tight, bl tight bond wood glue. And we'll just use a paintbrush here and just spread it on there. Um, be careful not to get it on the siding. Um, and then we'll just go ahead and stick a piece of paper on. So I always work from the bottom up um, when I'm putting roofing material on my kits. Just like if you were building a real house, you'd also wanna just work from the bottom up. So I'll go ahead here and keep adding glue and adding strips. Then we'll put the final strips on and again working on the roof here from bottom to the top. And now we'll do our ridge cap. So our ridge cap, I'm actually just going to lightly scribe a piece of roofing material and then fold it over in half and then place it on top of the ridge. I don't want to cut it, otherwise it's going to not give me a nice little angle on the top of my roof. So now that I got the building pretty much done, I want to go ahead and start building the diorama. So this is just good old styrofoam that came in a package from Amazon. We're going to go ahead and cut that up, cut it to size. And there is no rhyme or reason here, just trying to get it as square as possible by using the old eyeball. So we'll cut that up. And then the next piece is, is that we're going to want to put a base under our building. So let's locate here where to put the base. So I'm going to wiggle the building around here and looks like we're going to get it kind of off center because on our right side I want to be able to park a vehicle. So we'll use a sharpie here to trace out the footprint of the building. And then I'm going to add a circle here for the wires to pass through for my LED, for my interior lighting. So the base is gonna be quote unquote concrete, so we're gonna actually treat it like a real concrete pour. So we're gonna cut up some forms here, and this is just 332nd uh, balsa wood, I believe. And I'll just cut a few pieces up, and what we're gonna do is make a box. And cut the top and the, and the back. And we want to have a nice enclosure all the way around our line so that way we have a nice pad or concrete pad for the building to sit on. Because a lot of these buildings just didn't sit on the ground, you know, so we're not going to model it that way. If it sits on a concrete pad in real life, we're going to put a concrete pad under it. So I'm using just railroad spikes to hold the quote unquote concrete forms in place here. Nothing too serious get it all squared up and now we're ready for concrete so i'm going to use drywall mud as my concrete and i'm using a popsicle stick to apply it so as you can tell we're getting really fancy here i had some drywall mud sitting around on the shelf and i've been eating quite a few popsicles this summer so i have a bunch of those saved up and just lying around so just like a real concrete pour i'm striking it off here to kind of get a smooth surface filling in the holes where need be and voila we have a concrete pad so keeping in mind that hole that i wanted to keep for the wires to flow through 
I just take an old barbecue skewer and jam it through the wet concrete and styrofoam and really ream it out so that way the wires slide through easily. Next, let's add some terrain to the diorama. Again, we're just using the old popsicle stick and drywall mud here. We don't want the ground to give the appearance that it's totally even because that's not how it looks in real life. It's not a flat sheet. There's some undulation and terrain there. So I go ahead and add a little drywall mud to kind of give it that appearance. And now we're ready to paint. So I'm using drizzle gray for my concrete color here. And I'll just squirt a little bit on there, not too particular, and then just take a paintbrush and smooth it out. There's no wrong way to do this. Trust me, I would have figured that how to do that. All right, as we finish up the concrete pad here, you just want to make sure you get a nice even coat all the way across. Make sure you get your edges. And even if it runs over the side, that's okay, because we're going to go ahead and cover that up with some brown paint. Here I use Candy Bar Brown. And as you can see, I added way too much paint. It, I put an obscene amount on. But the Candy Bar Brown is supposed to mimic the soil around Ripon and kind of a brown clay type soil that we have here. So I'm going to go ahead and spread this out and I'm going to have to remove quite a bit of excess paint because I drenched this thing and it's pretty bad. So I'll go ahead and take some more paint off here. All right. And just fiddle around the edges. We're good to go. So now that we got it painted, we're going to take some ground foam, some Woodland Scenics Blended Earth, and a tea strainer and we're just going to add some ground foam to the diorama while the paint's still wet. The paint will act like a glue to kind of hold this base coat of ground foam on. So as you can see it almost kind of looks like dirt there and that's what we're going for. So once it dries we'll get rid of all the excess ground foam. All right now we're going to add some sh different shades in so we're going to add some blended turf kind of change the scene here and I'm gonna zoom in as we use that tea strainer just kind of you can see us adding the different shades of colors of ground foam it's pretty sweet and now I'll just go in here and put a pinch of weeds ground foam weeds is a color that Woodland Scenics provides it's kind of a darker green and I just kind of want to simulate the areas that don't get the heavy traffic. Take a little paintbrush here and sweep off all the excess. And then we'll kind of smooth out some of the pinches here and kind of blend everything in and get it ready to be glued down. So once we've got it all spread out, Go ahead and prepare the diorama by spraying it with a solution of wet water. That's right, wet water. And it's actually water with a little dish soap in it. Um, only a drop or two of the dish soap for a bottle here. And I soak that heavy and then I'll add my scenic cement solution which is just Elmer's glue and water, 50-50. So before it dries, I want to add some static grass to give it some, some more texture. So I'll use my homemade static grass applicator here. And then the paper strips it, whoop, and the paper strips that I'm sucking up into the static grass applicator. <laughs> paper strips that you see are just to kind of mimic uh, tire tracks, because I don't want any gra static grass in those areas. I want to simulate the, there's a vehicle driving around here. All right. So now, as you can see, it's starting to look like something. So what we're going to do is put a few bushes around the building. So we have it in place there and have some medium green foliage. Going to use some Elmer's glue full strength and we'll just tear up some chunks. This is not scientific. And all we want to do is kind of cover up some gaps and 
smash it down with my finger. And then we'll do some over here by the hole for the wires just to kind of cover that up from sight. Again, just a dab of Elmer's glue and put some, some ground foam clusters on there to kind of si simulate bushes. And the last thing we want to do is just add like a little row of weeds on the yeah, on our right side here. And we'll just use some more Woodland Scenics cluster of foam and boom put the building on back on top of it and let's see how it looks there we go looks pretty good Looks like we almost have a finished model here. So I went ahead and added some pan pastels, and that's about it. Not too shabby. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe to follow along with progress on My Model Railroad.